Hey, I'm in downtown Culver City. My, I travel all over the place, don't I? I'm standing in front of the headquarters of the Citizen Publishing Company. So the Citizen Publishing Company made uh, Culver City's finest and most popular newspaper starting in the late 20s. Their first publishing date was December 1st, 1929. And it was the work of a uh, husband and wife team of Eugene and Kitty Donovan. They had come down from San Francisco in the late 20s uh, to inhabit the Los Angeles area. And uh, they had been in San Francisco during the earthquake in 1906. And so when they bought this plot of land in 1928 in Culver City, they were like, uh, we want this thing to survive what happened in uh, San Francisco, if ever it should come to pass. So they hired an architect named Orville Clark to build a uh, lovely building that uh, was up to San Francisco codes because Southern California didn't have earthquake codes quite yet. So Clark uh, built them this uh, bow arts inspired design, two stories. It's got some art deco decorative motifs as well. And on the ground floor, that's where you'd have a reception area. In the back of the building, you would have the binding room and uh, the printing press for the citizen. And uh, upstairs is where the Donovan offices were. So um, this was actually a really cool newspaper, very popular in Culver City. So not only was it uh, very pro Culver City, it was trying to establish Culver City as uh, like a, a Hollywood style locus for filming. So many of the film studios of the time were based in Culver City, and honestly, they still are. Um, but it also worked with the film industry. So when you, whenever you would have a film where you'd see like a, a, a newspaper in a businessman's or a politician's hand that announced something and he'd slam it down on the table and be like, by God, everything has changed. Did you know this was going on? Something must be done. That fake newspaper was printed here at the Citizen Publishing Company. So right now, um, it is the Citizen Public Market. Nice little tie-in with the historic name. And they've got all kinds of food stalls in there. So lovely example of adaptive reuse as well that uh, preserves so much about what made this building special. Thanks for doing LA with me.